This video has been classified as M. It is recommended for people aged 15 years and over. Good game. There's a unique look to this game. Uh, lots of blues and, and, and it seems very, uh, very moody. Could you tell us about the choices you've made with uh, designing the, the art behind the game? Well, uh, we really wanted to have contrast in the, in the mood and the art and the visuals of the game. We tried to develop a new engine for this game, and that's the Glacier 2, and this allows us to have a much more dynamic lighting effect on, on every level. And uh, some levels have lots of blues, but some of them are actually much more yellow and uh, uh, sun drenched. Um, the, the light we choose is always uh, supposed to be guiding the player, so that the, so the, the way we place uh, uh, the highlights and uh, the way we try to bring out the contrast in the level is both based on an artistic choice but also on a need to communicate on a subconscious level to the player what is relevant and not on a level and maybe probably what is the possible uh, exit. A very natural thing for us to do is, for instance, in our blue level to have uh, highlights that are contrasting color because what is natural for, for the human eye is to go where there's contrast and that can be anything from light but also just movement. Uh, that is what catches the eye and that is probably what is important for the player. And uh, on a level, for instance, like the King of Chinatown, where we are uh, uh, presenting the first hands-on demo for the public, you have uh, some different disguises and uh, uh, distractions available to you on the level. And uh, uh, at one point you come across a fuse box that you can sabotage and the way we have placed the lights on it is to make it stand out from the background but at the same time also make it look beautiful. One of the biggest strengths of the Hitman franchise is the fact that it's not a stealth game and it's not an action game. It can be played both ways. It's all about choice and what you make of it. If you choose to play the level in that way, uh, which is a very action-oriented way that has where you take down everything that moves, but uh, that is what makes the Hitman series stand out, I think, is the fact that it is your actions that uh, determine how a level will play out. And what is really important to understand is there is no forced combat when you're playing a Hitman level. Uh, with the exception of your targets, which you have to take out, anyone else is your choice. And uh, you can complete any level without touching anyone. Um, and that is really important. But if you choose to do it, we try to give you as many tools as possible at your disposal so that you can poison, blow up, destroy stuff, shoot at it, do whatever you want, chop it. It's all up to the player's hands. Could you tell why, why are sexy nuns in that trailer? For first of all, they were not nuns, they were uh, dressed as nuns, but it's, uh, the, the, the story-wise it just takes uh, inspiration from a level. That's what we have done with all the trailers so far that we have released. They do take inspiration from a level in Absolution that the player is going to play, and uh, this one is no different. <laughs> We don't take a moral stand when developing these games. It's like we just want to give the player access to the tools and he can do whatever he wants with them. It's really important to understand that 47 doesn't have a conscience, but the player is 47 and the player has a conscience. Uh, and also it's your choice, not something that we impose on the player. You don't have to kill anyone if you don't want to. And uh, the, 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 the consoles, as you mentioned, the development service, they're moving up, they're winding down, but this is also a huge advantage for us because we learn so much about them. We know how to push them. There are, of course, limitations, but it allows us to uh, truly shine from a graphical point of view because we are really doing the swan songs for the systems. 